Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, uh, I'll talk about the instrumentation. Uh, the instrumentation elements, uh, I've already discussed uh, the knobs. Uh, today, I'll talk about the switches and uh, even the lamp and the gauges. So, I'll quickly create a design view here on the canvas and uh, I'll add a switch and uh, a lamp and then I'll add few gauges and to, to make my uh, work here organized I'll drag a panel and uh, in this panel I'll add uh, knobs I'll add two knobs here and uh, I'll add another panel and this panel will be for gauges so here are two gauges I'll just resize them to fit in there Okay, that's cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is that um, first th th this uh, the stuff will not work unless uh, I press the uh, I, I turn this switch on, and turning the switch on must uh, uh, turn this lamp green, uh, otherwise it it should stay red. So initially it will be red when it is in the off state and uh, when the when I press the uh, switch uh, when I turn it on it should turn uh, green and after it turns green this uh, all this stuff should uh, start working and, uh, and as I change the the value on the knob I'll try to uh, control this gauge uh, this gauge with this knob and this uh, gauge 2 with the knob 2 so that, that's my uh, very simple idea I, I will try to implement it okay so I can uh, assign a red color to the lamp when it is when the switch is in the off state uh, we can set this from here and uh, okay it is in the off state we can set this to on if, if, if you'd like to have So it's in the on state, but let, let's the switch is in the off state when we uh, start this program, and I'll try to uh, turn this on by clicking, and then um, the rest will start working. Okay, so uh, I'll go to I'll select and go to the callback and value change function. So I'll go to this callback function. Okay, so. I'll just type in if value equals equals on if the value is equal to this uh, string uh, so what I want to do here is to turn the color of the switch to green so I'll just type in app dot lamp dot color so I'll, I'll, I would like to change the color to uh, it is red I'll turn it green so this is the first thing that, that, that I want and uh, okay so let's have a try okay save this program okay so let me try as you can see when I press this uh, the switch when I turn this on uh, the lamp color switches to green so that's the very first step all right so now moving on if uh, 
if the switch is on the first thing we did is uh, change the color to green from red now next is I would like to I would like to assign the value of knob the first knob the value of this knob to this gauge so it goes app dot gauge dot value equals to app dot knob dot value okay so uh that's that's a very simple program similarly i would i'll go for the uh, gauge two dot value and i'll assign app dot knob two dot value okay so that's a very simple program okay so if i try okay nothing happens and if i turn this on you can see that uh, the moment we turn it on the value just matched with the um, like here was 40 and here was 0 but uh, nothing is happening as I am changing the value and the reason here is that I have written this program inside the uh, callback of the switch to uh, make it effective or uh, to uh, enable the value on this gauge to change with the change in uh, value of knob uh, we need to um, yeah to uh, also set the callback function upon clicking uh, upon value change of the knob we need to uh, execute the same callback okay similarly here I will select this knob and I'll do it again so let's try one more time okay so let's just turn it on both are at zero and have a look as I as I'm changing the value on the knob uh, so the value on the gauge correspondingly is changing okay so uh, that's a very simple so what our program is doing at the moment that once I turn on the switch this is the callback function for the switch it uh, turns the lamp color to green and it's uh, it's going to update the value on the gauge depending upon the value on the knob it just assigned the value of the knob to the gauge and uh, i have i have assigned the same callback here which is a callback for this switch to these two knobs okay so uh, let i don't want to um, I don't want to use the callbacks here I'll just cancel these callbacks and um, what I want here is that once I turn on the switch I want to update the values here I want to update the values here automatically I don't want to um, push the callback uh, I want to I don't want to use the callback function of these knobs okay so that, that's because in in a real scenario we'll be uh, getting data from serial port or from the uh, I, uh, through TCP IP and uh, in that case we will not be having knob to control these values and for that uh, kind of scenario uh, we would like to have this kind of setup that once the switch is on it after um, after some some delay it keep keep on updating uh, its status its value so let's jump to the callback function of the switch and uh, here I'm going to add a while loop and while the value is on once the switch is turned on I want to repeat this loop as long as the switch is in at the on position and uh, I'll add a delay of 
one second okay i don't want to uh, collect the data too fast so uh, after a delay of one second uh, I'll, I'll go for collecting the data from the knob and uh, have a look okay now I have turned on the switch it means uh, you can observe the delay here that uh, the moment I click to change the value at the knob it takes a while to change the value on the gauge that, that, that is because of that one second delay it collects uh, the new value from the knob uh, almost a second later have a look okay but the thing is I'm not using the callback function the callback function for these knobs okay so it's it's the while loop uh, doing the job okay one more thing to make it to give it a kind of a realistic view I'll just uh, add a random number here in the first gauge and also for the second gauge and what it does have a look have a look at these needles they are ticking and uh, I haven't uh, although the value at the knob is at zero now let me change the value and they are you'll find them ticking because of this random function I have added some uh, error and to, just to give it a realistic view uh, as in uh, real meters or gauges they normally uh, doesn't set uh, don't set it a, a particular value they keep on uh, keep on ticking around uh, the reading so to give it a that kind of realistic view you can use this trick give it, add a, a random number and uh, as the the loop is uh, going on and on uh, you'll find that they 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 are ticking around the, the set value 